Welcome to the first video on what is the difference. Today we are going to talk about the difference between two mostly confused physical quantities, pressure and stress. Right, so why do people find it so confusing? The reason is simple. Both pressure and stress have same unit and similar formula. But wait. Isn't the formula for both pressure and stress same? No. Yes, the basic formula is same, but the concept is different, which we will talk about later in this video. So let's start with the definition of stress and pressure. So by definition, pressure is force per unit area, same as stress. But have you guys ever noticed where do we normally use the term pressure? We use it when we talk about fluids, liquids or gases. And we use stress when we talk about solids. Another difference is about the direction of the applied force to the cross-sectional area, which produces stress or pressure. In case of stress, the direction of applied force can be parallel. Or perpendicular to the cross-sectional area of the material. If you take an example of a rod subjected to the force acting perpendicular, the rod will bend because of the tensile stress at the top and the compressive stress at the bottom. This type of stress is called normal stress. Now there is another type of stress which is produced when the applied forces are parallel to the cross-sectional area. Let's take an example of the solid cube. Here are the forces acting on this cube. As a result, the cube breaks into two pieces. These type of stresses are called shear stresses. But in case of pressure, the direction of the applied force will always be perpendicular to the cross-sectional area. Consider the container with the fluid. Pressure is increased inside the container when the force is exerted from the top. Now pressure is produced because of the normal force, but pressure itself has no specific direction. It is considered to be distributed in all directions, which makes one thing clear that the pressure is a scalar quantity, a quantity that is only defined by magnitude and no direction. While we know stress have magnitude and it also have direction, along with that, we specify point of plane on which it is applied, which makes this quantity second order tensor. Take it this way. Why do we use two different terms for quantities that have same unit? Why don't we use stress instead of pressure, specifying that it has no direction? Or use pressure saying that it is acting parallel or perpendicular? Why do we need two separate terms? Here is a reason why. The major concept that makes pressure different from stress is that it always acts externally. Pressure will always be external, while stress is always internal. Pressure is produced by the forces acting externally on the body, while stresses are produced by the reactional forces to the external forces applied on the body. That is why we say atmospheric pressure, not atmospheric stress, and tensile stress, not tensile pressure. Let's take an example. There is this container 
enclosed with some liquid inside. If we increase the pressure inside the container, like this, the molecules of the liquid will exert forces on the walls of the container. These forces are external forces as they are applied on the surface of container. These external forces applied on a unit area will be the pressure applied on the walls of the container. Now in order to resist these external forces, the reaction of forces will be produced inside the walls of the container. These reactional forces are internal forces and these internal forces acting on a unit area will be the stresses produced inside the walls of the container. Now if the value of the stress inside the walls of the container becomes greater than the ultimate tensile strength of the material of the container, the walls of the container will break. So in short, pressure is exerted externally on the walls of the container, while stresses are produced inside the walls of the container. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Also, turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any all set video. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the description below. All set guys, I'll see you soon.